Um, so the only other really things on this, and you know, we'll go over a couple other things. Then I'll just do the maintenance, and then we'll we'll run a cycle with this one too. Got it. I, I kind of got, um, got this H two O button right here. So you'll see a red X. That's because there's no water in there. The nice thing is it'll show us when the water level is too low. It'll tell you, and also it'll tell you the water quality. But sometimes you can buy bad water, like. Once in a while, you'll get a bad batch from the store, and it will run it right okay. out. It'll actually tell you what the water threshold is. We just um, so we just need to drain it and put the water in there. And then to get into your settings, you just press that. <laughs> Once the first time you press it, your serial number is right here, and also your cycle count. Um, and again, to get in, so you just press doctor, technician, and doctor. You can adjust the beat volume. So you can turn that volume up or down. You can turn it off. This is where the level's at. So once we push it back in, it has to be level. Yeah, so what leveling does is it helps it drain. So right now it's in the green, so we're good. What it's doing is it's angling it back into the left. It drains from back here. So that's why that stat drive over time, when you need to incorporate that, it just helps the water shed and drain. It helps it dry better. So are these, are they bad now, so they're going to dry when they come out as well? Uh, no. no. So, so the way this be... works is you'll go through the sterilization time, it'll be, um, let's say it's the nine minute cycle. So it goes to the nine minutes, after it's done, you can pull it out right away. After the cycle though, it'll run into a dry cycle for 60 minutes. So okay. the reason why is because sometimes you're not here to pull it out, so the man won't be drying. Okay. Um, I would say if you want it to come out as dry as in the Bravo, it's going to take about 24 minutes. But this is more designed for quick, yeah. uh, for hand pieces, to get stuff to the operators quicker. Um, I do have a lot of offices that strictly use this, but they'll let it stand in longer to, to dry. Um, yeah, hand pieces can o should only go in the statum, right? Because we don't want it being hot too long in a chamber. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, because okay. the more it's exposed to heat and pressure, the it's like a turbine. Faster. Okay. Yeah, so they'll last a lot longer if you're going to here. So the hand pieces just stand with this and Static. Yeah. I'll just leave this on for now. It's just a little too late we got this on here. But when you're ready, you can take it off. Get back to the main menu. Then you just press this bottom arrow. Yeah. Okay, so then this is the right for us. That's the quickest cycle for the hand pieces and stuff. Exactly. Okay. Yep. And then this is the solid wrapped. Um, same thing as these, the first one and two on there. So, so how long? So the unwrapped is, will take how long? Uh, the unwrapped on the 5000 is nine minutes and it's 14 minutes for the uh, okay. for the wrap cycle. Okay. So the, the bigger one's a little bit longer than, than the smaller one. It right? is, yeah, okay. it's about okay. three minutes. So on okay. the smaller one it's six okay. and uh, 11. Gotcha, yeah. okay. So if we need, so if we're in a pinch, we need that hand piece, nine minutes and then you can just straight use it or do you have to let it? Oh, it'll be a little hot. Uh, it'll be a little warm. Um, I mean, you, I've, I can take them out and just and grab them. You might want to let it cool down first. Okay. And, you, yeah. and you don't recommend like running it under water, right? Yeah. Probably not. Yeah, just so extreme hot to cold. Yeah, just it'll warp it. Yeah. yeah. But I would say honestly, after a minute, it'll be cooled down enough yeah. where you can. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. And what this is, is actually not a water filter, it's just to catch stuff. So if mm -hmm. there's anything on top and it falls in there. Mm -hmm. oh. And I'll actually get you guys, um, I don't know if you remember seeing at the show, I have the rubber, the silicone mat that sits on the top. I don't remember. I'll give you one of those. It's okay. nice because you can set the cassette right on the top. Um, and this over time will get scratched. So oh, it's, just, yeah. it's just nice to have. Okay. Sweet. I know I've had, I'm so glad they have that because I've had the ring of the water fall in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then burrs will fall in there, and there's a lot of stuff gets put on top of the stab sometimes, so it's just nice to. And one other thing, too, when you're filling this, um, these this one's designed to, if I were to have water go over the edge, see what that little lip on the outside is? Mm -hmm. it go, the water will fall through the machine down to the bottom. It's not going to hurt anything, it won't touch any electric components, but if you ever notice water in the bottom, Either it's because the cassette seal is replaced, or just during the filling, we just spill a little bit of water. So, how often do you, how many cycles do you replace that seal? The seal. So, this one is about 500 cycles or six months. Six months? Yeah. And that's another thing. I'll have Christy order. I'll get you an extra seal on here, too. Mm -hmm. And same rule of thumb on here. 
Um, I would wait until it steams and leaks before I replace it because mm. you could get like eight months out of it. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's when you know. Okay, so let's load this guy up. So there's two, there's three different cassette racks. You guys can take your pick on what you use. Um, it's all just preference. So there's this one. You want to go back to the, that side? So yeah, sure. these guys can. So Chrissy and Leaf said this. How are you guys doing on time in front of me? We have 8 o'clock with Ada. 8 yeah. o'clock, okay. okay. We're getting close to it, but we start a little bit late, so we'll. Okay. Uh, we'll push everybody else back. Yeah. Is it Sean? <laughs> Sean can wait. Yeah, Sean yeah, can, can wait. <laughs> no, we're almost done with this, and that'll take like two minutes. Okay. okay. Um, so we, we should be just about done. Okay, so there's basically three options here. This option, um, just laying the packs down, or this is the like a loose instrument if we're not doing, um, if we're not wrapping. And then this one will hold the pouches vertically, oh, so you can stick them in here this way. And then this will do the same thing. You actually it's like convection, so these plates heat up. The idea behind this is they get hot enough when you have the pouches on here, it will dry the pouches a lot better. Huh. For some reason, and I. I've never really used it enough to tell which one I would like better. For some reason, most offices don't like this one. Um, they prefer to use this one, but I would say try them both um, and see which one you like better. One thing about this is it is heavy. So when you have this loaded with instruments and then in there, um, you just want to be careful when you're inserting the, the cassette. So for now, you want to just run with this one or do you want to run this one? Let's try that one. Okay. And that one on the bottom always stays in there? Yeah. Okay. This is good if you guys ever have to float and run back that's, here. And, yeah, uh, yes, that's what I wanted to do. So I was asking her, so the, when you would use this one, is it if you want it quicker? Mm -hmm. this one? Yeah. So it's not like these are only for certain. Yeah, parts. so this is not, well, hand pieces always need to be sterilized by this okay. and not that. Okay. Because like the. That? Yep. If it's in that, it's exposed so you, to heat you, you, okay. for longer, and the longer it's exposed to heat, the more damage it causes to the internal, um, the, um, the mechanicals in the in If the it was piece. a loader, they'd okay. probably yeah. be able to include um, this one in there, yeah. just for yeah. weight. Okay, so one thing on this, especially on this one that we want to be really careful of, is when you put the cassette on, if this were to be over the edge, it, would, it wouldn't create a good seal, so you'd get steam leak out of there. Mm -hmm. So... I'll be honest, I've actually, this is the first time I've ever loaded this, and now I'm thinking maybe <laughs> yeah. that's part of the reason why they don't love it. Because <laughs> you've got to be careful. Like you can't do it fast. <laughs> there was some guy on our uh, design team that just came up with this two years ago, and they oh. just said, we'll just include it and see what people think. So, <laughs> if you don't use it, don't feel like you're wasting it. <laughs> but actually, that wasn't too bad. No. Let's have a seat. Okay, so that looks good. Can't see anything in there. And then on this one, this is just a, a handlebar, oh, so okay. you can, it's a little easier to insert. Um, on the bottom here, okay, actually it doesn't say it on this because you actually cannot put this in upside down. Um, just be careful when you insert this. There's a little probe on the back that basically mm -hmm. sticks into here, and that's what, and that what forces the steam in there. If we were to slam this in or hip check it, um, it's a lot harder to do on the new ones, but it is still possible. So just when you insert it, just remember you just kind of go slow. And once we get it all the way in, we'll hear a click. And that's inserted. And then go ahead and run that this cycle. One? Yep. And then this is the start button, or do, is this start? Yes. There you go. So it's just six minutes? Yeah, it should be nine. Or it's wrapped, so shouldn't it be 14? You said nine and four, or 13, 14. Yeah, it should be 14. I'm mm -hmm. just gonna pull up the literature real quick. It might just be the sterilization time, the 14. Oh, and then it, it pops up after, yes. Yeah. Because it's full. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, because there's a start timing until it gets to temperature. Right. I see, right. I see. Um, yeah, oh, so what he said is... Warming up, maybe, sometimes, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what he said was, uh, unwrapped is 9 minutes. Okay. Wrapped is 14 minutes. Um, Versus 22 and 32. Yeah. 
Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the big advantage of this versus the other main competitor, the Midmark one, is this has a vacuum dryer. Yeah, it's so, so it'll really cool. So it actually dry, that's a dry to dry time, where mm -hmm. the Midmark is actually dry to dry time, it takes like an hour. Yeah. Um, so this is actually half the time. Yeah, we never left it in an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. But they're still they're still yeah. wet. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I apologize. So it's I was wrong. It's seventeen and a half minutes for the wrap. The fourteen is the two thousand. Okay. Um, but six minutes is the sterilization time. So okay. she was right. The time it takes to get up there. I see. And then to drop back down. So it's nine and seventeen and a yeah. half. Okay. Nine and seventeen. Okay. And okay. And then you guys can that. And then here's the Bravo times. So you have the 17 view right here. So mm -hmm. it says 19 minutes for unwrap and 24 for wrap. But does not that have a sensor in there that, that senses how much stuff is in there? So why I say, I always say 23 and about 32 is because it's, well, it's a full cycle and that's how many it's in there. We should put together like a, a manual binder mm -hmm. or something for everything. Yeah. Um, in these posters, I don't yeah. know, whatever you guys want to do. Yeah. You want to tape it on the inside, yeah. sure? Yeah. yeah. Whatever whatever you guys want to do. Okay. You see the space for the hydra in it? I did, I noticed that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're familiar with the bottle? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just one thing, obviously, just keep an eye on this. Um, once it gets close to full, we just basically unscrew it. You can dump it right into the sink. Just make sure when you go to put it back, we just want to fill the water down to this minimum. And you can use tap water in that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So why is do you it? want to fill it? Oh, so there's a big Yeah. So it just drains into that. Okay. Okay, so we got that. I'm not even learning, so I've never sterilized before, so. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Yeah, no. Do you need more use or open it? Uh, yeah. Okay, plenty of albums. We, got, we, uh, just, we just learn all the science behind it and the temperature requirements and all that, but we don't actually do it. Oh, we do have pieces. Uh, we don't have pieces on the next door. door. Next door. Yes, you this can. For, it's just not on glue. Um, this is for the tubs. Hmm? Are you doing tubs like to put ultrasonic? Oh, it's for the ultrasonic. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. What is that? Because <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about like separators? <laughs> yeah, the separators for the tubs. Did you get like the? Uh, 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 like containers? Yeah, they're like um, containers and you can like pull them out and set them on the counter and you got your bonding agents and your all that oh, stuff. And oh, you know oh, what I'm talking about? Oh, like yeah. the bead? You know what I'm talking about? They look like little bank tackle boxes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the little bead tackle boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we do have one. We don't have one here. Actually, actually yeah, oh. we do have one I, though. I was wondering if that's what these are for. Oh, to, the dividers that you put yeah. in there. I have no idea what those are for. Um, yeah, we asked Christy if she knows anything. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe that's for the ultrasonic to put in here, dividers, so that you can put lay cassettes in, in here. Because I, I think know. you can lay cassettes in this. But I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I wasn't here. I wasn't here yesterday when they unpacked all this. So. Okay, so I can just kind of talk about this until Park gets back. So um, basically, we got three hand piece slots and then a chuck cleaner. Um, this is extremely easy to use. You basically just hit one button. So for now, and then this is actually one thing too. Are you keeping that? Pardon? List of stuff we need to order, the seals. I got the seals. Okay, we'll add some statmatic spray. No statin. You guys can just grab this one. So in order to load it, you just kind of see over here, there's just this little brass ring. So you just lift that up. Okay. Insert this up until it clicks, and then pop that down. And that's it. Shut the door here. Um, 
probably never will have to adjust this, but it just says right here, max four bar. I like to keep it just under the four. The way to do that is to pull this knob out and then you can just adjust like this. So as you run it, will like pressure build up in there? So will you have to release pressure? Is that what what it's for? Nope. So this okay. is just kind of a one-time thing. Once oh, okay. you initially set it up, so this okay. regulates the pressure coming gotcha. in, and then once you lock it in, then it stays there. So um, how much? One thing on this, when I first got here and I was I was playing with it, we had a little leak out of here, so I grabbed one of the guys and they tightened this nut. Okay. It should be fine, but okay. just know when I first okay. got here, we just okay. a little bit, but I think it should be okay. Gotcha. Because I know with some oilers, like the one I use, we have to like turn a knob for like the oil or the air. The, this one is so it's got the cleaner and the lubricant in one. We'll really only have to hit two buttons for oh, this: okay. the start button and then the, the chuck cleaner. So it's oh, okay. super easy to use. Um, the setup right now, it's got one um, high-speed coupler and two either low-speed or electric. Um, I don't know. Typically, that's what offices want. They use more low-speed than high-speed, but. We could do two high speed if we wanted to. How do we, um, if we wanted to do that, how do we change that? Do we have extra couplers? Or? Uh, we don't. I would have to get you one. Okay. Um, okay. But they're really easy. This just unscrews right here. The coupler drops out. You put a new one up there. And you, screw that on there. And you can actually use real couplers too. They're just more expensive than the plastic ones. So right, right. if we ever gotten a bind, we could stick a real one in there. Okay. But, um, let me know. I find most offices use this because they use more low speed, but if you want or think you're using more high speed, I, I, I would think models. more high speed. Yeah, yeah. Speed I two think, one. yeah, I would say two and one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just show you real quick, so I'll probably just send it to you. Um, yeah. that's, sorry, uh, for low speed, so then you're connecting just the motor or the, the contra angle attachment? Uh, just the attachment. So the okay. part, so the part that slips on. Yeah. The right. Style right. Motor. Right. Right. So that's that's what this is. Is that pretty universal, or is it? It is. Because you guys don't. Do you guys have uh, low, slow speeds? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, let me show you the back end on one, and you can just. So we don't have to attach the whole thing. Not the motor. Yeah. 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 Not the motor. So this is the low speed. So you can okay. see they all it's pretty universal. Right there. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Okay. And does the top come off? Does this top come off? Uh, no, not on this not one. On this is this different. One. I think oh, okay. you're talking about the one that's got the different angles. Like yeah, the yeah, the yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I was talking about this attachment though. Okay. That attached directly to the motor. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's where you're putting that on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me show you on here. So I'll send this to you. Basically, you just unscrew this. This comes straight out. <laughs> It'll probably fall down there too. Um, when you look up in there, there's there's one bigger and one smaller. You just want to make sure it goes in right. So the bigger one is in the back. So it just slides in there. And you just tighten it down. And that's it. Essentially, this metal part will be sticking out for that one. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So it just wasn't inserted all the way. Okay. Um, sometimes you'll have to take it out to pull it out. The new ones, they're really tight. So you push it in, you think it's in, you have to push in really hard, you'll click one last time. Okay. So is that, that's inserted now? Yeah, it's in there. Yeah. Okay. Would it help to lift that up? Yeah. And hold it?
always good to run them before we start. Huh? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Troubleshoot.